Hi, we're here at DevOps UK with Renegina Van Vrienkast. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's M. Um, and Renegina, you've been doing some interesting boff sessions, I know, last night. On uh, You work in the Duchess group. Can you explain to our readers, to people who aren't familiar with Duchess, what, what you guys are, what, you're a, what you kind of do? Okay, so Duchess is uh, a Java user group uh, with mainly uh, women in Java, and we're an international Java user group with chapters all over the world. So the most recent one is in Macedonia, but we started in the Netherlands like about eight years ago and grown internationally. So is your goal to kind of get more women in tech? Are you there for women already in tech who kind of want a place to find other like-minded individuals in the tech community? Yeah, it's a bit both actually, to keep people in, the, the women in tech, but also get more women into tech, show uh, girls that it's possible to be uh, a developer, uh, what it's like, and also uh, to keep women in tech and to show them and get them out to conferences and go to uh, their local jug, jug meetings. I suppose it does it kind of feed into that idea of peer support and mentorship as well. See, so there's no reason that you need a female uh, mentoree, but when you've got people in similar circumstances, I know women in tech have other issues like children and so many other factors to think about when it comes to international travel. Uh, yes, that's, but that's also sometimes a problem for, for the dads, actually. So everybody thinks it's a female problem, but though it's uh, also for the, the men, it's also a problem. But yeah, uh, it's more like I'm the only woman there. So the, the dynamics in a group are different when there's more women there so then they not have the feeling like I'm yeah. the only one. So it's kind of helping to push that change. Yes, yes. And what were you talking about last night at your boff? That was kind of a little related to your Duchess activities wasn't it at uh, the meet and greet? Yes, that's uh, also to get more diversity uh, because we're all building uh, products for the market and the market is all kinds of people. Men, women, uh, all kinds of race, religion. Uh, so it's important to have a team that builds your product that is also... Right, so kind of that understanding of like a really broad perspective of user needs yes. and kind of how people want to use... Yeah, and your, uh, your references are different if you're a man or a woman or you're Asian or... I think that's such an interesting point because a lot of the time when people say we need more women in tech, it's kind of from a point of almost CSR, kind of that corporate social responsibility or, you know, not having women shut out, but it's also the end user perspective as well, isn't it? That people using their products and kind of people addressing those needs in the community. Uh, yes, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, because you see things differently because, it, yeah, it's your reference is different. So what's usual f for me is totally not usual for somebody else. So, yeah. Um, would you have any advice for any women who are watching this now who maybe they want to go to conferences, they want to go to events, but they kind of feel maybe they feel like they just feel a little bit shy or nervous of going or they're worried that they won't fit in? Uh, especially the Java conferences, just go because there's plenty of women, even here, there's a high percentage uh, of women. And uh, maybe join your local Java user group, uh, tell some people around you, you have co-workers or other friends that you're going to the conference and see if they want to go. So it's kind of that banding together and... Yeah, it's always more fun if you can talk to somebody about what you're experiencing. Did you like your talk and all that kind of stuff. So I suppose that kind of fills in. Did you kind of help make uh, encourage women to speak as well? Oh, yes. I know that's a big issue in conferences. Uh, yes, it's a big issue as well. But then you need also women to apply, to, to respond to call for papers. And that's also something we try to do with Duchess. We try to encourage people to be speakers. Oh, not immediately at a big conference like DevOx, but start small with your local uh, chapter or your, your company and build up. Uh, maybe do a, a quickie here for 15 minutes, talk about something you're really passionate about. And a lot of people think that you need to be a real expert about something, but a lot of conferences are actually looking for how to get started with a certain project. So if you've read a book and you know you've been doing something, you can do a talk about how to get started with something. I mean, I guess we've got this wall of 20 years of Java. People are writing down when they write their first line of code and actually there's quite a lot of people. I'm surprised that 
they only started maybe two years ago, or some people even this year. And those people at the conference, they don't really need a rock star, right? They want someone who just is great at the basics. Yeah, and yeah they need to, the, they say, oh, this talk was way over my head. They need the, the more the basic stuff. And that's also what conferences need because, yeah, you need the deep dive things, but you also need the, the it, it's good. maybe people see it as easier, but I don't see it as easier yeah. because for me, some stuff is also new. And I want to know how to get started with lambdas and all that thing. Yeah. I mean, there's a great discussion, I think, on Huffington Post recently as well, that um, someone was actually introduced that to me yesterday, that um, we need more women who aren't amazing engineers. Like, it's not just that you stand out in the community, you know, it's okay, you, you can be an average engineer and you can still be a role model. You don't need to kind of tick all those boxes of being this superstar rock star. You know, you can just be a woman who loves to develop and has something to share. You don't have to kind of be like senior or... Uh, no, you need to just have the passion for your job and show it. And that's, that's one of the main things, yes. And if people do want to get involved with their Duchess, is there a link we can post somewhere that people can kind of... Uh, so we have a website. It, there's not that much information, but the information that is there is, for instance, all the local chapters we know about. So it's just the key. And that's the yeadushes.org site. Hey, well, thank you very much for talking to us today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Yes, thank you.